Hello, so today we're going to look into a little quality of life script. Uh, this is basically uh, a little script that makes attach to a lot easier to work with, uh, especially since we have the free B editor nowadays. So uh, what I've done is, you can probably figure it out by now, but uh, these objects have been attached using the attach to command, but uh, as I did it via my script, I didn't have to actually figure out what position I wanted them in. I could just place them here uh, as I wanted them in any direction, in any uh, vector and altitude and so on uh, with a simple little code. Um, so the way it can work is that I can uh, can make the objects uh, either be there and uh, never actually let go or we could have the objects uh, detach once the actual or the main vehicle has been destroyed so if I set off this bomb you can see that the antenna just or radar dish just uh, flew off uh, the box ended up over there the vehicle obviously destroyed uh, so that works uh, quite fine. There are some limitations to this. This is primarily because of Arma though. So, um, so we have a box there and there are two quadcopters on there. And if we set off this bomb, uh, now nothing here actually kind of flew off. You can see the quadcopters moved slightly not too much, nothing to worry about, but the box hasn't moved at all uh, since I didn't bring Zeus this time I guess I'll have to uh, just remove this there so you can see that this box is just hovering that's because this box does not have any um, actual physics to it, it's just a box, it's just there It's it's not gonna fall down um, if I uh, show you that real quick over here hmm. alright so now I've put the box on top of me or above me and if I detach this object it does fall down, why doesn't it fall down if it's over here it might be because it's like it, it's resting on the object, I don't know, I presume it's happy where it is um, just try this again real quick so that box moves if we blow something up around it and this box is right here and what if we try and detach cursor target so yeah this this just wasn't, won't fall down whatever I do uh, let's try cursor object yeah, it's just not updating its physics for whatever reason, I don't know. Um, so yeah, you can get some uh, varying results depending on what objects you do. Uh, we'll try and put this uh, box on it instead just to see what uh, difference it will make. So let's remove that box and let's remove that box. What happens if we attach you? over here, let's just see if the physics of this box makes more sense than the other box just copy the same code over there and let's just do it. there, let's see if that box flies off or if it's gonna stay there, hovering me there it's tilted so uh, yeah, I'm expecting this one to update properly so if we do delete vehicle now Okay, so yeah, you can see some some odd uh, physics on this box. It doesn't quite update if the vehicle is destroyed, I guess. Um, I don't know. I don't know what to do about that. Um, I guess it might be wise to use certain objects over others, but... Um, also, this works quite well for, for tables. Uh, some... Uh, I seem to have actually messed up that one magazine, but never mind. Um, as you might know, some items tend to fall through the table, or you can have them um, 
just sync into the actual table. Now you can use the script just to lock them in place, but there's one thing we need to keep in mind then. Um, if we put two explosives here, I believe the table will fly off. But since the table itself, it is a physical object, but it doesn't take damage. So even if the table heads off, the objects might not necessarily... Uh, or actually the table doesn't take damage, which means the objects are still locked onto the table. I don't think this is going to be a huge issue really, but uh, something we have to deal with until uh, tables can take damage. Uh, so yeah, uh, we can do silly things like these. Now these have uh, proper physics for real, so I've attached them to this actual box here. Uh, so if I destroy that box, all of these will fall down. As that object has been destroyed. Now we have some wonderful armor 3 physics here going on. These containers tend to fly off every now and then. Uh, it seems to have actually managed to just fall over this time. Right, there's one more thing we need to keep in mind. Uh, when it comes to attach to, the objects that you attach to something will ignore world terrain. This includes trees and this includes the ground. So let's put this box here. Now you might be imagining that this box will be standing on this blue container. No, 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 no. This blue container is attached to this box. Now what's gonna happen is the box is gonna keep falling down and all the objects attached to it is gonna follow with it. Which is very awkward. Um, so yeah, the blue container is now underground because box, uh, it's attached to the box. I don't know. Um, some That's one more thing you need to keep in mind. Whoa. All right, there we go. <laughs> Oh, brilliant. So yeah, keep that in mind or you will have this happen to you. Then again, you might be aiming for this. What do I know? Um, what other example could there be? Yeah, I guess if we... I guess we could attach a container to... Oh yeah, I tried this before as well. I guess we could do that. So let's say these four containers uh, please attach to the ground. There you go. So now everything's going to be fine. These are not going to fall through the ground. But these, this, these white ones, these orange ones, and this blue one is attached to this box. Uh, sorry, this blue, both blue containers are attached to this box. So all of these are attached to the box. Now what we're going to do is uh, we're going to attach these yellow ones to the blue container that I for some reason called container 2 apparently. There. Now let's do the same thing right there. So now these two yellow ones are connected to this blue one which means if I destroy this box all of these are gonna come loose but the two yellow ones are still gonna be attached to this blue one so they will be following the blue container which is also going to cause some interesting uh, things to happen. Uh, presumably nothing you really want to happen, but uh, again, that's up to what you are looking for. And now they will be clipping through other objects as well, so you could keep that in mind. As you can see, it's now... Yeah. Yeah. They're all attached to this blue container, and until that blue container takes full damage. Uh, there you go. Uh, you can attach objects to things you might not be used to otherwise. So, for example, uh, this building. Uh, we have we we can't actually interact with this building, but if we if we go to, let's take this one that I used recently. So a missile trolley. And let's uh, change the angle on this one. All right, we have to do this as well. Ugh. 
so angle it uh, let's go to more of a pain in the ass than normal there uh, we don't need to make it look pretty right now I guess so yeah um, I think if we just load through right now I don't know what's gonna happen to this thing I don't know if it falls down or if it attaches to it yeah it just falls down right so if we want it to be there you can either disable the simulation of the object right there um, or we can place an invisible helipad for example we can just place it there um, give it a name uh, attach one for example and then uh, open up the init of this object and then we can go into our script I recommend you put it in uh, a scripts folder and then you can just place it in there and then it will work by the default pathing that I've made uh, there are four parameters the object that you uh, that you want to attach yeah the object you are attaching right second is the objects which parameter one will be attached to S um, so let's just start working on this code here uh, so the objects to attach the object I want to attach uh, if I'm placing it in the init of a the of an object I can just write this and it's gonna be that actual object um, object which parameter one is being attached to so that's our helipad it's our invisible helipad and we gave that the name attach one so let's type attach one Detach if main object is destroyed. True to detach when destroyed, false, uh, never detach. So in this case, uh, if the main object being the the invisible helipad at this point. So um, let's just put false in these for now. Uh, sorry, let's just do one parameter at a time, of course. Uh, detach if attached object is destroyed. So if the missile trolley is destroyed, uh, we can set that to detach, but we'll look into that shortly. Uh, so let's just type false, and then we can copy this exec vm uh, nicky underscore attached to dot sqf. Now, if we copy this, make sure you don't leave this without these uh, forward slashes because you don't want this down here because that's going to cause an infinite loop and uh, it's going to cause a mess so I recommend you either remove this all together or make sure that it's in these uh, or behind these forward slashes um, so if we put that there so this object will attach to attach one uh, I guess it would be more make more sense if I called it the invisible helipad but um, don't ever um, detach for whatever reason so if we load through now that should be on the wall and it should be in a rather awkward angle as I didn't really bother about that um, if I go back here let's make this a little better than maybe that looks a fair bit better So yeah, now, now it looks better. So you can attach things to just about anything just by placing an invisible helipad. And you can attach as many items as you want to that one helipad. I don't think you can cause any kind of damage to it. So I don't think you can ever destroy it. And also if you just put false, then yeah, it's never going to detach. Um, you can do other silly things with this. Um, you can let's see here let's do something else that I've done before we can go here we can grab a prowler yeah that'll do and then we do a turret and let's take a static AT launcher so let's move that up here right about there that looks decent enough so let's call this car one and then we make the code again so this car one 
and this time we're gonna do true and true which means we're attaching this object to car one and if the car is destroyed uh, the the AT launcher will detach or if the AT launcher is destroyed it will detach so let's do this and just move this over to the init of the static AT launcher and let's just load through and here we have it so I can get into the prowler I can drive about no worries it's gonna stay there it's gonna stay there uh, also we can just get into the AT launcher or we can fire it at whatever we'd like so I could yeah this is one of the uh, little touchy things you need to think about if you're uh, messing around with things that <laughs> armor is not used to you might uh, if, you, if you're placing turrets on other vehicles you may experience some weird uh, dismounting procedures uh, usually these can be sorted with a normal just, uh, vault I think all armor players are used to this by now am I that horrible at hitting a static ammo box come on now or um, I think my missiles are going through the box is that is that for real okay then that's new um, anyhow if we destroy this AT launcher you can see it moved a little bit so now if I start driving we can have that thing fall off um, I guess it would be kind of bad if it fell off in front of me and I kept driving into it we might experience some armor but yeah that's it and if the vehicle would be destroyed the AT launcher would be sent flying as well I'm quite sure so um, yeah it's uh, no harder than that for example uh, I have this ifrit I do have as a composition so I can just place it again uh, what you just need to keep in mind this is the first one I placed so this one has a name listening post car one and these two are obviously set to this object attached to listening post car one and the same thing goes for this one now since I played another placed another one it's gonna get the underscore one uh, which the code is not going to bring with it so that's something you're gonna keep in mind so in this example these two objects would attach to this one and this one would be without any objects because yeah so um, I recommend you try and just vary things so like weapon for some reason these tend to just go into mid air so yeah I gotta bring them down again but now these things will automatic automatically be attached to this table since I already have this in here uh, for any possible coders I am not using a while loop or anything with the uh, damage and uh, this detaching of objects I'm using a uh, the event handler killed so that should be the same thing as uh, using a while or a, a wait until loop for uh, when the vehicle ta or the object takes full damage I have not seen any differences whatsoever if I if I set off explosives by the table it's not gonna take any damage which means neither the killed event tender or the uh, wait until loop would fire so yes uh, I'll leave the script uh, download link in the description and if you have any questions just uh, go for it and uh, yeah have fun